Hello everyone, I'm Boing and welcome to my WWE 2K20 review. This 2K20 title is a professional wrestling video game. The game feels anything but professional due to the many cheesy scenes and visual glitches. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, guess what Mr. Bowman's sweat stains look like today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape, what do you think? See what I mean? Despite of that, it does succeed to bring a fun game experience that's set in the world of wrestling. The game is developed by Visual Concepts and published by 2K Sports back in October 2019. This is the 21st official wrestling game and the 7th released by 2K Sports. Anyway, you can play this title on Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The title offers a lot of game modes to try out, but let's look at the main campaign first. In the My Career mode, you create two characters, the female and male lead of this story, called Red and Trevor. The character creation is pretty good, there are even some sort of classes and skills here. Customizing your wrestler is quite nice as well, there's a lot of options at the start and much visuals to unlock. While the main focus is on Red, you play a fair share of game time as her friend Trevor too. Red and Trey are best friends in high school and decide to take their chance at pro wrestling. You play as both and follow their story as they journey through the world of wrestling. Together they face a lot of ups and downs, but you must survive a lot of cheesy conversations and visual glitches. But rest assured, the first few minutes of gameplay, you find out that Red and Trey completed their goal and became pro wrestlers. As both Red and Trey, or Trevor, or whatever nickname you decide to bestow upon them, you will face many challenges. Besides the cheesy and sometimes blunt, idiotic cutscenes, you also will face visual glitches. And trust me, it's bad. Really, really bad. However, I did enjoy the gameplay, somehow. I mean, the whole game feels goofy and anything but pro. Trevor made me laugh a few times and I can understand how some people care for Red's story. Or don't. So, as I said before, I had fun with this game. And I know people will wonder how. Well, honestly, I don't know. The game just entertains, I guess. Except when you face an enemy that seems unbeatable. Or needs to be defeated by almost impossible or probably bug combos in order to move on with the story. So that's about it for the career mode. It's fun to create your avatars and really design the whole concept for your very own pro wrestlers. Beside my career you can also check out the 4 horsewoman. You can also play the towers mode which first saw light in the 2k19 version. This time Roman Reigns is involved. Ok so multiplayer is where this game really comes alive. As a personal lover on local multiplayer, I'm excited about this part. Hear me out. So yes, there's offline action here. You can take it up to 8 players in the ring, which is both amazing and full on chaos. You can also pick handicap mode, royal rumble and tournament, or just create a custom match with your very own rules. Playing this in local multiplayer really gives a boost to the gameplay. Nothing really beats a good old wrestling match with buddies or a tag team with friends on the couch. Of course, you can head online and challenge other players around the world. It's pretty fun to enter the ring with your self-created characters or pre-made by other players. The game offers a lot of room for creativity and sharing. Playing these custom characters might get you in some epic clashes or hilarious battles. So as I said, there's a lot of single and multiplayer modes to discover. As most of those matches turn out to be quite the same, some may vary with different challenges or extra in-game objects to use. Ok, mechanics might glitch sometimes. Stuff like combos tend to just not work. Especially certain moves you have to perform in order to complete the object for a mission during the campaign might bug out on you. But you know, as I said, try out multiplayer. The fights are way better and way more enjoyable versus real people. Seeing the creativity from the custom character only adds up to that experience. The soundtrack is alright, there's ambient sound and crowds cheering which is nice, there's even fans holding up signs and posters with funny quotes or drawings and stuff like that. So yeah, every location does feel pretty alive. Ok, let's talk visuals, which sometimes feels like a disaster. Ok, I know you're probably thinking, come on boing, it can't be that bad, can it? Well, yes, my faithful viewer, it can be that bad. While the overall graphics feel like a downgrade versus the previous title, I do agree it's still ok looking. 
I guess you could say it's a different animation, a different style maybe. Although a lot of the fan base was hoping for improved realism on the visuals and not a step backwards. Okay, so the glitches feel like an unforgivable crime for current consoles. I mean, how can a company, a genre, this big screw up so bad and charge full price? I mean, even if I did enjoy the game, I'm still happy I only paid 10 bucks. So what about the glitches you say? Well, they love messing with your character's hairstyle quite a lot, during cutscenes, gameplay and so on. Beside hair, you could notice missing limbs or serious downgrades. While it didn't bother me that much in terms of gameplay, it just annoyed me knowing this still happens today and the game series is big. Beside defining your character with skill points or talents and making it a little bit different from one another, there's also another very good feature about this game. Character creation and customization. There's a lot of cosmetic stuff to unlock and equip which you can also color up to your liking or even add patterns or stickers to it. Sharing your creations is pretty easy and so is downloading pre-made by other players. It's a nice feature and a big plus to the game. At the end of the day, there's quite a lot to say about WWE 2K20, but I won't say it's bad and it's not good either. I'd say it's entertaining for a while. I can see how true wrestling fans really enjoy this and as honest as I am, I had a good time despite all the bugs and glitches. Multiplayer and character creation really saved this game as good as they can. Let me know what you think about this wrestling title in the comment section down below. I can't wait to read your comments and feedback. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Smash the like button if you liked the video and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. You'd really help the channel out. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on future uploads and don't forget to check out these other videos you might enjoy. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more multiplayer gaming right here at Boeing.